I'm going to review 25 of the best unisex summer barefoot shoes. Starting at the beach. The Crocs are... Oh, oh wait, those are not barefoot shoes. The Blooms are Vivo Barefoot's answer to Crocs and are great shoes to wear near the water. They are also made from sustainable algae-based materials, which is pretty cool. The Aqua Export from Zero are also made for the water due to the material and design, allowing proper drainage. I also like the lugs under these, which help you grip onto rocks and to prevent slipping on wet ground. I must also add the power socks in this category too. These shoe socks, or as I like to call them, shocks, work super well near the water and are probably my favorite pair for this purpose. They are also very packable, which is great for traveling and only cost 25 bucks. So it's a no brainer to have a pair of these in your backpack at all times. By the way, every pair of shoes mentioned in this video are linked below together with any discount codes we have for the various brands. Okay, moving on to running and trail running barefoot shoes. Let me start with my go-to pair, the Viva Barefoot Trail FG. I really dig these because they've been durable. For a trail running shoe, this is probably the most important characteristic to have. Of course, they are also nice and wide in the front, as barefoot shoes should be. The FGs also come in a knit version, which is very good looking in my opinion. But just check the sizing guide because according to my wife, they have run a little large for her foot compared to other models from Vivo. Zero shoes have the TerraFlex 2 as their version of the trail running shoe. They have felt very solid and durable, but are a little narrow for my foot in the toe area. Zero's Aqua Export model I mentioned earlier can also be used for the trails. I actually really like the shoe a lot. It's one of the lightest barefoot shoes I've ever worn, weighing in at only 195 grams without the optional inner. The lightweight material and design also mean that they are very cool in warm weather. But if you are looking primarily for road running shoes, there are a few options. The Geo Racer knits from Vivo are legit. The upper is really comfortable for long runs, but I haven't yet racked up hundreds of miles in them to comment on durability. The New Zealand model from Zero are another great option. This model has the roomiest toe box of any Zero shoe I've tested to date, which has been perfect for my above average width foot. I'm also impressed with the ground feel I've gotten in these while running. But now onto general fitness shoes, or what is sometimes called indoor fitness shoes. The Primus Lights are the flagship from Vivo in this category. I've been wearing this model for a few years now and I really enjoy them. But probably my favorite fitness shoe right now is the Nebula from Wildling. They have insane amounts of flexibility and ground feel. The upper fabric is stretchy and made from merino wool knit, which is great for combating sweat odor. The toe box is also wide and naturally shaped, which is why they were the winning pair in our top 10 shoes for Bunyan's video, which I'll link down below. Moving on to casual wear. The brand that has absolutely dominated this category of barefoot shoes are Field Grounds. All their models have such a chilled vibe about them. And as I've said in the past, Field Grounds are super comfortable and have loads of ground feel through their soles. For the summer, the Field Grounds mesh models are very breathable. I'd also select their lighter colors for staying extra cool outdoors. Plus, if they get a little too sweaty, they are machine washable. Good job, Field Grounds. Next are the Origo Cotton Canvas. This is a very exciting brand from Mexico who are focused on creating shoes that have all the barefoot characteristics, that is zero drop, thin and flexible soles with a naturally shaped toe box. But they do it in a subtle way that doesn't scream, I'm a barefoot shoe, which I think is appealing to many people. They are able to do this by keeping the toe box naturally shaped, but not making it too wide and clown shaped. So while they might not be suitable for the extra wide foot, they will fit most people and are a huge improvement over the toe crushing designs of mainstream footwear. Next up are Wildlings. I mentioned their Merino wool model earlier, but they also have their Sega Summer Cotton model and my favorite cool linen Manul model. My wife and daughter also have a pair of Manuls. It's pretty cute when we all wear them together. And yes, I'm pretty strict about the shoes I put on my baby. And because Wildling shoes are all made from natural materials, they are one of the only brands I can wear without socks, as the natural fibers 
prevents bacterial growth and odor from forming in them. And we all know how important that is. I must say, I really enjoy the extra ground feel and coolness I get from wearing barefoot shoes without socks. Another great barefoot shoe made from natural materials are the Zero Aptos Hemp Slip-Ons. While that might be a mouthful, hemp is good for summer and is really durable too. What also makes these shoes great is they are under $70 US, which is significantly cheaper than most of the other barefoot shoes. Now onto barefoot sandals. Earthrunners is a company who specialize in barefoot sandals. They have different styles from an extremely minimal casual model to the thicker running type and even something for more rugged trails. But all of these designs have one thing in common. They all have a patented copper insert in the sole around the toe area. The idea is that the conductivity of the copper helps connect us with Mother Earth herself through a process known as grounding. It may sound a little woo-woo, but there is actually an impressive body of research dedicated to this concept. If you want me to do a separate video on this, let me know in the comments below. Field Grounds also have a casual unisex sandal that have an extra wide forefoot area and are made from natural cork and cotton materials, which as mentioned earlier, are great for combating odor. Finally, check out Zero Shoe's impressive collection of sandals. My wife has been testing out the Jessie model, which she says has insanely thin soles with all the ground feel you could ever want. So much so that the really hot ground penetrates through the soles and heats up her feet. Zero also have made a sandal in collaboration with Naboso, which have Naboso's innovative textured sole built into it. If you're not aware, Naboso create textured inner soles, which help stimulate the nerve endings under the feet for an enhanced sensory experience while walking in them. The initial data suggests that this type of sensory enhancement could improve someone's body awareness and balance. Makes sense since we experience rich texture from our environment if we go completely barefoot. So I see this concept like bringing the outdoors into our shoes, which is pretty cool when you think about it. I'll link to Nabosa products down below for you guys to check them out. Okay, onto our final category, which are for smarter summer barefoot shoes. White leather or imitation leather sneakers are the way to go in summer if you want to look cool while staying cool. And there are three models we have tried which fit this bill. They are the Geocort Knit from Vivo Barefoot and the leather and imitation leather variants from Origo. The Vivos are excellent. They are made from high quality leather and they have really comfy sock like uppers which is pleasantly comfortable around the ankles. But the toe box of the Geocorts are a touch narrower than the average barefoot shoes. The Origos in leather have a very similar feel to Vivos but where they differ is in the imitation leather models. They call it cactus leather because it is made partly from cacti in Mexico. I must say that this is one of the more premium looking imitation leathers I've come across. Price wise, Origos are about 30% cheaper than the Vivos, which make them a better deal in this instance. Now, if white is not your look, then the Viva Barefoot Ra 3s are one of the best semi-smart barefoot shoes I've tried. They have tons of ground feel since Viva used the same sole found in some of their fitness models. I've had the winter version of these called the Gobies for years now, so I know that this model is also really durable and the leather becomes supple and comfy as they age. Finally, we have some women's ballerina slip-ons for use with dresses from Zero. The feedback on the Phoenix Knit have been nothing but positive. The girls say they are comfy, have a good fit, and look really nice out. They also mentioned that the knit variant is particularly breathable and good for a hot day. However, the leather version, while very classy and beautiful, was found to be a little stiff and uncomfortable for a wider foot. And that's it. What review would you want next? A barefoot winter shoe review in the fall maybe? Let us know below. But until then, cheers.